guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today, we're back with Expanded. Uh, did you enjoy NIC? Uh, hopefully, it went well. I have no idea how it really went down yet uh, because it hasn't happened in my time. But this week, we are covered in ex Expanded format all week. And uh, I'm excited because uh, two out of the four decks are, uh, no, three out of the four decks are going to be new expanded uh, decks that we haven't seen. And then the fourth one is going to be a deck that we haven't covered in a little while that still shows it's 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 still good, right? Uh, so today we're covering Guardian or Gardevoir Sylveon. I don't know what you want to cover, call it. We haven't covered on the channel just yet. Uh, so I thought, you know what, why not cover on expanded? Uh, DeAndre Holmes <laughs> has gotten a first and a second place with this deck so i thought why not show it off he's proven the deck's good and i and you know i'm excited i love aromatis it's uh, been one of my favorite cards for a long time for sure i just really hasn't had a good fairy partner but now it does uh so gardevoir sylveon gx has the attack fairy song search check for two fairy g's attach them to your bench book when you, when you like then shuffle your deck and it has these at Kaleidostorm, and that's pretty much going to be our main attack here. It does 150, and you move, and you move any number of energy from your Pokemon to, your, to any of the Pokemon in any way you like. So basically, you just you move the energies off this guy to your bench or whatever you want to to another to the bench guard as before Sylveon, and then you can go like that way, and then that way they can't really one shot. If they do one shot, you still have the energies on your bench guy and stuff like that. It's a really interesting thing to move your energies around. But the thing to note, it's a 260 tank. That hits for 150 for three energies, which three energies sounds like a lot, but it's really easy to get in this deck. So Aromatis uh, has the attack fair, or has the ability fair transfer. You just move around your fair energy from one Pokemon to another. Pretty simple strategy there. Uh, Didini for the Didini change, and I wonder why he didn't play like Shaman or yeah, Shaman I guess right. Uh, who cares? Did he change what we're playing? I guess because you could discard your hand and draw six new, uh, six new cards while Shaman draws up to you. I guess I just like Shaman a lot more. And it has more HP, so I, I can get that. Uh, type of Layla for consistency. There's a 1-1 one, one Alolan Muck. Of course, the Dodo can evolve to Aromatis, but the Muck can help you out uh, into, against those basic decks if you do need to shut down abilities like Jirachis, Hoopas, anything like that. So that's going to be everything we have. Uh, Douse Machine is really good to get back some resources. Four Max Luxers trying to get the energies out ASAP. Two max potions to heal your Gardevoir Sylveon. Like I said, you are a tank. And when you can move the energies off this guy and heal it with max potion, move him back, you're good to go. Three Nest Ball, three Ultra Ball. He actually had four, uh, but ended up with uh, with uh, with three. <clears throat> Super Rod for to get back three Pokemon or energies into your deck. Uh, three Trainer's Mill for consistency. Look at top four cards of your deck. Find a Trainer card and put it into your hand. Uh, four VS Seeker to reuse supporter cards. One Fairy Garden to get free retreat with the Pokemon with the energy attached. Two Power Plant, which is really good. It can make it where your opponent has no GX, EX Pokemon, have no abilities. There's a Wondrous Labyrinth. Whenever Pokemon, whenever a player play, oh my goodness, we care about this first deck, not the second uh, thing. The attacks of non fairy Pokemon cost one more energy. There we go. Okay, so one Ace Roller, two Cynthia, one Faba, two Guzma, one Mina. Uh, search for a fairy energy attached to one of your Pokemon, then shelf your deck. I mean, this can help you get the turn to attack instantly. You can, like, I don't know, uh, attach turn one, next turn attach, and then Mina if you want to. Sure. Uh, two second more. So there's really not that much draw support, but I guess with the top of Layla and Dini and the four via Seeker and the train, three trainers models, you kind of have outs to them. Uh, there is a Fairy Charm Lightning, which makes it where prevent all damage on the Fairy Pokemon that that has a Lightning GX or EX, which could be really good if Picaram is big in your area. Uh, there is the Fairy Charm ability, making it where your opponent has a uh, if your GX or EX has ability, uh, they can't hurt it. And these are pretty cool because you can put pretty much whatever Fairy Charms you want there, uh, depending on the format at the time. Uh, one Fighting Fear Belt, so your basic Fighting Pokemon have 40, or ba not basic Fighting, your basic Pokemon. At 40 HP, which means your Gardevoir Sylveon now has 300 HP. Uh, there is two Wonder Energy. Uh, prevent all attacks of your opponent's attacks and accept damage done to this fairy Pokemon. This card's attached to you. Uh, so any effects. So this kind of like shit down is Eradicate because Eradicate, like I said, has put the damage up to 10 and that kind of like negates that because that's an effect. Uh, there's some other things as well. If you're worried about a Selgor, I don't know if a Selgor is even a thing anymore. This can protect it. It protects your fairy Pokemon for some crazy plays. And 10 fairy energy. 
Now there's one thing I didn't talk about, and that is Magical Miracle GX. It does 200 damage, and if this Pokemon has at least 3 extra energy attached to it, in addition to its attack cost, your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck. Yes, they just shuffle their hand into their deck. So if you get 6 energies, you make it where they shuffle the hand into the deck and draw nothing. They just draw their, they just shuffle the hand into the deck, and they're in top deck mode. And then you can put cards like Power Plant and make it where their GX, GX have no ability. So they top deck, top two lately, they just sit there. And they just look at you. So it's a very cool deck. I like it a lot. There is some hype around it. It did do well in Origins as well. Um, I think it got first place at an Origins. Um, but I, the, the rumor was, uh, I think I think it was, I can't remember who exactly it was. I don't call this Guardian. I think that's what the people call this in this nowadays. Um, it supposedly was a subpar list. So let's go to Versus. Let's change the Standard to Expanded. And oh, three win streak right now with Zark Persian. Hopefully, if you went to internet uh, NIAC, you uh, played uh, you played good old. Where am I going right now? There it is. You played good old Zark. Now, um, DeAndre did have like different lists uh, going into this. His list before had an extra, had an Eevee Locks, Fighting Fury and a Lola Grimer. Uh, but he get those for Mina, Super Rod, and Tapu Lele. So. In, uh, yeah, so, okay, so we see water, so if this is uh, Blastoise, then maybe this could be a little better, because Eevee, I mean, I don't know why he cares so much about the Fighting Fury Belt against, I don't know what he, okay, he said no Eevee lacks because he thought there was going to be Nozark and no Archie, so I wonder why, I don't know, I don't play enough Expanded, but we're going to change that right now, obviously. So, our hand is not good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll press done. And let's start the party. Okay, so Seismitoad. Hmm, interesting. Uh, okay, so on to our opponent's turn. We might see a Quaker Punch. There's a DC to the active. Koga's Trap, we are confused and poisoned. Okay. Uh, we got a fob of the DC East. That's pretty nice. So this Quaked Punch doing 30. We are poisoned and confused thanks to Koga's Trap. Uh, so we get an Ultra Ball. Can I not play Faba right now? Uh, I should definitely be able to play Faba right now. What's happening? Why can I not play Faba? I wonder. Because uh, choose a tool or special energy attached when you find a Pokemon. Okay, well, let's just attach a fairy. Let's just press done. Uh, I definitely should be able to Faba right now, but I can't for some reason. Huh, interesting. I mean, I, yeah, I should be able to Faba, but I can't. Okie dokie. So, there's a Vermic City Gym, Trainer's Mill. I mean, we type a Gainer Dream for Peds, we just win because we just one shot this thing. But there's a Nest Ball. I uh, hope I can play Faba this turn because if I can't play Faba against like a deck like this, then I'm definitely in trouble because I need to play this card. Like, I need to play this card. Uh, okay, so whew, this is going to be rough if I can't play my Faba. I, I, I'm, I'm not missing anything, right? Choose the Pokemon tool or special energy attached when you're part of Pokemon. Yeah, okay, and another toad come down. Okay. D okay, can I really play my Faba right now? That'd be really cool uh, to play Faba uh, because I would love to discard the DC off the active since he has a DC on the bench. That would be really nice. So they're just Shebe. Okay. So we see Shebe come down. We see the setting up of the Shebe. Okay. Um. Let's see what else they got here. I'm hoping we'll play. We have three options now for Faba. Okay, there's a Survivor, so now we take a lot more damage. But, I mean, we're still pretty tanky. We're just taking 40 extra poison damage and everything. Okay. All right. Faba. It's still not working. There's literally one, two, three options, and I can't play it. This is... That was silly. Okay, well, let's let's go to game two. Okay, hopefully we don't play... Man, is, is Faba really not working? Because that is... I mean, if I miss something, let me know. Because that 
should have been like a good matchup for us, but obviously my uh, my stuff wants to be broken. I guess okay. So we won the coin flip again. Yes, we'll go first. Okay. Hmm. So <clears throat> got a mold again. Okay. Uh, I mean, that one the hand once again is not too good. Like especially the ultra ball was like a guardian. Then we're in trouble. Okay. Press done. Start spritzy. Okay, press done. Hmm. We have like a couple of things we could do. Faba, please go away. I hate you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to Ultra Ball. Uh, discard the Faba and the VS Seeker. Okay, grab the Lele. Will Lele Wonder Tag for a Sycamore? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna have a Sycamore. It's probably the best way to go about this. We'll attach a Fairy to the active. Uh, we'll attach the Wonder Energy to the active. Max Elixir. Hey, there we go. One there. Max Elixir. Oh, got two. Okay, let's go Sycamore. Let's go crazy this turn. Okay, we'll get another Max Elixir. Uh, well, okay, well. I mean, we can attack next turn. We can go Fairy, VS Seeker, Sycamore, discard all this good stuff. Hope to hit a Romatizzi. Um, retreat and attack with Guardian for the knockout or in Guru. That's definitely the game plan. So there is... A Brooklyn Hill, which um, we have no fighting or water Pokemon, so that does literally nothing for us. So there is a Froki coming down. Okay, interesting. Is this Greninja Charon? Uh, okay, I have definitely hit the lower rankings of PTCGO right now. That is what is happening, unfortunately. Okay, well, all right. Water and the Froki. Pass the dark turn. What we get? Hey, there we go. There's a Guardi. Fairy. Uh, as much as I don't want to second war this hand away, I really don't have a choice right now. I mean, I could retreat and just like Fairy Song, but I just, let's just try to get this match over ASAP, right? Okay. Let's Max looks her first. No energies, cool. Ultra, uh, trainers move Ultra Ball. Oh, there we go, got it. All right, so got the Ultra Ball. I'm gonna put down Spritzy. Ultra Ball, Cynthia, and a Fairy Energy. Uh, yeah, we'll do Fairy Energy. We can super out back our stuff. We'll grab Aromatizzi. We're gonna retreat first before we evolve um, because it has a two retreat cost. So put that down. Let's use Fairy Transfer. Fair energy to the active, fair energy to the active, and yeah, so now, okay, press done. We're done moving the energies around, and let's go Kaleido Storm. All right, we'll just keep the energies on the active right now. All right, that's fine. We'll go down to five price cards. There's a Ditto. Okay, we'll just put the Ditto. I mean, I kind of scared to put down the Ditto because, like, Greninja couldn't knock us out, but nope, it's the Water Duplicates Greninja. So, ooh, Bursting Balloon. Ooh. Uh, I mean, we could fob the tool off, but what if it doesn't work? <laughs> oh, man, because that would be upsetting. Okay, so Water Duplicates for some multiple... You know, some some Pokemon. One, two. So they have one Frogadier prize. Okay. So let's just go for this Faba play. That probably doesn't work. Let's see here. Faba. Oh, it works now. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing working now? Let's find another Guardi. Oh, we can. All right, there we go. Well, Nest Ball. For a, another Sylveon Guardian Gardevoir. Uh, and we'll go for another Kaleido Storm for 150. Uh, we'll press done. Go down to four. 
Find a Cynthia. Okay, so there's probably no like real way to get six energies on this active guy. I'm just gonna be real honest. But getting rid of the burst balloon was probably really good. Um, there's a water energy. We might see a Greninja coming down. I'm gonna evolve this Ditto into a Muck uh, just to sh shut down any shenanigans. I guess. Seems like the best play. There's an Ultra Ball probably finding. He needs to find Double Greninja this turn. Um, that's for sure. If he doesn't, then he's going to be in trouble. I mean, we're going to just keep on keep on going on. And eventually, we should have enough. Like, we're just going to keep one-shotting these Greninjas. All right, there's a Greninja. Ooh, that's the different. Oh, this is the one where you're flipping. Where you, you, you flip and to see if you get hurt or not. Yep. Well, that's not good. They can just one-shot my Ditto and Spritzy right now. Okay, so we get into four. That's not good. Hmm. Okay. That's not good. That is not good. That is not good at all. He can take a double knockout here. Yeah, that is the truth. Oh, does he find another water energy, though? I think he already attached per turn. Um, yeah, he already attached per turn. So it's going to come down to this, like, coin flip, right? Yep. Yeah. That's what it's going to come down to. This good old coin flip. Uh, but I don't think there's a way we can get enough energies in the field right now. That would be pretty insane if we did. Uh, unfortunately, Muck does not help Greninja. Uh, that would be pretty broken if we did. So we see a level. Probably finding another Froakie. So now we get to play flips all night. There's a Staryu, which Staryu, once again, is not a card that we really care about. That you know Muck doesn't really do anything for. So there, on our turn... Well, at least we get the muck, and that makes it where he can't take a one shot immediately. Um, I mean, I know this isn't protected. <laughs> I'm just trying to thin our hand out if he ends us, kind of thing. Uh, so we'll just Kaleido Storm and Tails. Yeah, okay, we need, he needs to flip heads. Uh, we'll press done. That's fine. So, and now he's got to send up to Star You. I hope to hit like. Oh, so he's going to send the Greninja. I was going to say, maybe he has to hit, like, an Aqua Patch Water Energy. Um, maybe, okay, there's a Greninja Break. So he's got the giant Water Shuriken now. So there's a Water GD active. Okay. Hmm. So let's see how he wants to do this. Because now we can't one-shot it anymore unless we go for Magical Mir a magical Miracle GX. And if we do that, um, we could lose our GX return. So six is to be active. Okay. Alrighty. Hmm. Well, let's see here. So, Froki has hit the field. Okay. Uh, there's an N. Okay, so we get three. They get six. Uh, but, I mean, we found a VF Seeker. We only have one left, though. Ooh. There is a Mina, which could... If we top deck... Uh, if we top deck a Fairy to Jane, attach it, we could go for Magical, Magical Miracle GX and put his hand at zero. Yeah, that would be pretty neat. That, yeah. That's the game plan. Hope to top deck a... Uh, okay, well, we won. Uh, okay, I don't know why we just won, but we just won. Okay, all right, all right. We just won. Cool, great, 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 cool. Uh, okay, well. On to the next game. Greninja. I did not think I was going to see the flip one. I thought I was going to see the uh, shutting down abilities. And that would actually be like a lot tougher. Because if he shuts down our abilities he makes it where we can't use our aromatease so that is a big thing here now we are playing against a lightning deck so i mean we can just use the um lightning fairy charm which is pretty cool and then hopefully that would help us out a lot all right so our hand once again is like pretty subpar um but maybe we like trainer's mail find like a nest ball then like dd change and like just throw up everything out of our hand uh, oh, they play Sound Lab. Spooky. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll draw a Mulligan. Nah, take it. The Cynthia. Done. Pikaram. Yep, there it is. Good old Pikaram. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I don't know how this matchup pretty much goes. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I don't know. We'll just figure it out together. It's the battle of the tag teams. So we see Shabe coming online. Floodstone to the active. Uh, compressor discarding some stuff out of the deck. 
maybe like a Sycamore, a Volkner, Lightning Energies. There's a bunch of different things they can do here. Um, this deck is really good in Expanded. I, I imagine that most Expanded is going to be like these super big tag team bolt decks. So Juniper Colors and Lightning uh, seems pretty good. All right, Shaman for New Hand of 6. Up to 6. Up, no, Shaman 2 6, not up to 6. Okay, there's Compressor. We're going to discard some more stuff. But does he have an energy attachment for turn right now? Because that would be pretty bad if he doesn't have one. And if he discards too many lightnings, then his max will just become, like, pretty bad. Uh, so, we'll see. We shall see. Discard the Nest Ball. Nest Ball. The Picarom? Yeah, maybe he has, like, a stretcher in hand. Trainer's Mail. Okay. There's a Via Seeker, which... He hasn't played a supporter card yet, so he can go for anything he wants to. Ultra Ball, discarding a, a double Electro Power. So he has three Electro Powers in the discard pile. Uh, he has no idea what he's playing against right now. He just knows he sees a Spritzy, and he's probably like, free wins. Uh, but it's not a free win. It is definitely not a free win. So Max Elixir finds a Lightning for the Picarom. Uh, we see the Via Seeker for Sycamore, getting a new hand of seven. Or, or Juniper, sorry. Either one. It's fine. They do, they do the same thing. I don't know why they didn't make Sycamore do something like different than juniper that'd be pretty cool if we have multiple effects uh it's up a coco come online um that's probably going to end up going off this turn i imagine you just put the energy on shaman and peek around. oh you only have one in this card pile so definitely not worth it right now unless you can find a lightning with this ultra ball which probably will i mean geez this hand is forever long my goodness you can see how dumb peek around is and there is the mars shadow as well okay cool thanks just lower my hand to four Thanks, buddy. So there's a choice band. Might as well put that on the Picaram while, while you're at it. And then, yep. Okay. Choice band of Picaram. Okay. So this is great. Okay. Great. Thunder Mountain. Mars Shadow. So it's weird that he puts some Thunder Mountain right now. That definitely seems like a huge misplay because we could bump that stadium. Um. <laughs> That's a bad card for you. <laughs> Now you need one more energy, okay, is there, or do we see the Coco dance the agents? We do. Okie dokie. <clears throat> okay, lightning, lightning, love it. Trainer's mail. What if they have a bad hand now? Max looks or geez, calm down, opponent. My goodness. You have you have 18 cards left. You know that? You have 18 cards and you haven't even done anything. My god. Alright, so we'll bump that first. Uh, we'll go Fairy Cynthia. Okay. So, we go here. Trainer's Mail. Um, I, I think we keep it. We'll, we'll grab the Guzma to thin our deck. Yeah, we'll, grab the, we'll put the Guzma to Corral. We'll Nest Ball for another uh, Spritzy, just in case this one gets knocked out. Okay. Well, Ultra Ball. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. They're both going to get discarded regardless. We'll go for a DD change. Alrighty. And we'll use it. Yep. Get a new hand of six. And no Max Elixir as of right now. Oh, there's a lightning thing. That seems pretty good. We'll put that here. We'll retreat to this. We'll nest ball for a ditto, because the muck's in the deck. And then we'll press done. <clears throat> okay, so that's a pretty good turn. Uh, we've got the Fairy Charm. We've got Wondrous Labyrinth, which means he needs another Lightning Team at Full Blitz this turn, which is pretty cool. So there's a Max looks there. Let's see if he finds it. Uh, he also needs a Guzma to attack us or a Via Seeker, um, which he's only played one Via Seeker, so he has three left. There's a V-Seeker. For the Guzma, most likely, go to pick up the Dedini, I imagine, take a knockout. Um, that's what I would do if I was him. Seems like a busted play for sure. <clears throat> but we'll see. I think that's what you do here. You definitely go, like, Guzma, Dedini, take a knockout, and then... Yeah. I, I Yeah, so that's definitely the correct play. He, he needs a field blow or something to get rid... Oh, my goodness. And has a Wonder Tag. Okay. To grab a sick or a lily. Okay. Um, but once again, he needs like a field blower to get rid of our our fairy charm, or he just like loses, right? Um So full blitz. Okay. 180. Gonna put what three to the active, I imagine. Ooh, to the Lele, actually. Okay. Very nice. So <clears throat> getting two prize cards. I like it. Send up Guardian. Okay. 
So we had a Dallas machine. Uh, it doesn't really do anything for us right now. So Fairy here via Seeker for Cynthia. And we'll get a new hand of six. I mean, there's no way this thing can one-shot us. be pretty impressive if it did. Um, This hand is subpar. That is the, the statement of my life today. Subpar hands. So we'll go... Hmm. Let's go Max Luxer. Okay. Let's go Fairy Song. And we're attaching to the act. Oh my goodness. They only go they only go to the bench. Well, go one here. And one here. Okie dokie. Alright, so we really need this Aromatees next turn. If we touch Aromatees, we're looking really cool. Because if we get Aromatees in this turn, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, there is a Silent Lab coming down. Okay, I don't care about that, really. We've got Power Plan if we want to. Um, there's another Lightning to the top of Lily. Lily for five. Okay. Let's see, does he find a Field Blower? Um, I mean, because we're going to Power Plant and then hopefully take a knock on this guy. We can't right now, unfortunately. Well, we can go for the GF stack. Um, it will do 200 to knock him out, um, which is pretty good. Like, we can Mina, attach, and then... But if we top deck an Aromatease and can move all the energy active and just blow him up, that would be fantastic. So, Trainer's Mill, does he play a Field Blower? So, VS Seeker could get the Guzma right now um, and just try to, like, load up a billion energies on this Tapu Lele. Right now, the Picarom does not... Okay, so full blitz for nothing. Interesting. So he's just going to load up energies on this type of Lele. Hmm. Okay, so... <clears throat> Let's see, so 260. Okay, let's see here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19... Okay. It'd be pretty hard for him to take a knockout this turn. So we'll go here... Um, let's go Power Plant. Let's go Mina. Oh my goodness, what happened? Fairy there. Let's just go for Kaleidostorm. Do we move the energies? Yeah, we'll move one to here. Press done. Alright, that way his Lele does less damage next turn. And I mean, we top deck the Aromatees. Oh my goodness, we'll be looking really good. I just, sweet. oh my goodness, can we please find Aromatees? <sighs> oh, I would love to do 200 damage and put his hand down to zero. That is the game plan right now, right? That is the perfect situation. I wonder if he's going to full blitz again and just get a bunch of energies on this Tapu Lele. Uh, if he does, we're going to take a prize card. We're going down to three if he does that. Um. So, Via Seeker, does he go for Guzma here? I wonder, huh? Let's see here. Oh, it's your boy Guzma coming down. Does he attack with Lele? Or does he send up this guy retreat and take a knockout that way? Okay, let's see what he goes for the Guzma play. Brings up the Spritz. He sends up the Picarom. Does he send up this Picarom to take a knockout? Huh, let's see here. What's he gonna send up, man? What you gonna do? He's so worried about this fairy charm lightning. Sends up the Lele. We're about to knock out this Lele to the new year. Uh, that is the plan. See what we top deck. A Lele. No, power plant. <laughs> well, we'll just go here and, uh, yeah. That's all we really do. That's all we can really do, unfortunately. I want to put his hand down to zero, of course, but it's not... Okay, Sycamore, not what I want to see. Faba, not what I want to see. Pika Rob coming up. Okay, cool, 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 cool beans. All right. Hmm. Lightning. Okay. Let's see what else he's got here. Max Elixir. Okay. For nothing. Flintstone to the Shea Bay. Uh, end. Oh my goodness, thank you, because my hand was garbage. Woo! Okay, so. On our turn. Uh, too bad. Do we have a Guzman that's garbage? We do, we do. 
we have It's Your Boy Guzma. Via Seeker for Guzma. Let's bring up that guy. Let's go down to one prize card. Boop. Uh, whatever. It doesn't. Okay. Oh, 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 there we go. The single Fairy Charm. One minute game. There is no way I was going to put that, uh, that Guardian in my hand. Uh, so, yeah. You can see how this one. I mean, we didn't even find out Aromatis. We were like, oh my goodness. Ash Ketchum. How, I mean, I feel like we play against Ash Ketchum a lot. But there we go. Um, that's the deck. Um, you can see how, I mean, I really, okay, let's try one more game. Let's try one more. <clears throat> let's go for it. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Because uh, we, we played against a Greninja, played against a Lightning deck. Um, we did see how it can get set up pretty quickly. But we'll see here. <clears throat> All right, so playing against Michael2013. Hello, Michael. Mikael, whatever your name is. Hmm. All right, heads. We lost the coin flip. Great. Uh, we haven't had a kaleidostorm uh not kaleidostorm whatever the first attack is i didn't realize i obviously didn't read guardian um i didn't realize it went to two bench pokemon i guess him, that kind of balances it right because if it went to the active it'd be like a really heavy play right deck right now i feel like at least maybe i'm wrong um hmm oh man see we always get these subpar hands but we'll see we'll see there is oh my goodness oh michael don't don't you toad me right now don't you dare laser survivor me some crazy sh laser survivor verbing yeah 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 my goodness if he finds a survivor we lose and we're back to plan a oh we lost just pass bud oh my god i got you i got you I got you. I got you. Great. Thanks. Thanks for playing today. Today on Will Squeaky Get Donk by a Size Toad. Will Baba work? Uh, who knows? What happened? Why? I still don't understand why game one we like played that Size Toad player. They Faba, they're not going to Faba their thing. That was dumb. That was dumb. Okay, so let's play one more world. Let's play a real game. This is another Lightning deck. This is another Pikaram. Is this a little Pikaram again? Um, we'll see here. Man, I really wanted to see my last round's opponent's, like, um, deck to see if he played a way to counter my one fairy charm. Like, that was pretty insane. Um, they're calling the coin flip. Come on now, you either call heads or you call tails. What is happening? What is happening? My computer just said ding to me two times. Did not like the button I pressed in the background. Okay. So we lost the coin flip. Okay. Because right. they knew heads is the best way to call. Uh, my opponent's taking forever, though. Oh my god. Please. Pokemon, help me. Send me help. Send me help. Send me help, Pokemon. I can't I can't concede the game because then if I concede the game, we, we get lower in the tier bracket. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're starting. <clears throat> cool. Um, we'll see what happens. So we start with the Guardi. We start with the Nest Ball, which can find the Aromatees. We can go Fair to G Fire, Fairy Song, Fire Song, Fire. What is wrong with me right now? Why can't I talk? My contacts are messing up. My opponent's taking forever. Maybe this is how they plan to win their games, but I like taking forever to make their moves like this is oh my god this is one thing i don't like about pokemon it's like they, they should make the time limit 15 seconds you got 15 seconds to make a move that's it <laughs> you gotta play some speed pokemon like speed chess or something or just have the timer like where it's 10 minutes like that'd be so much better you just i i, I hate the 25 it's it's so long like 25 minutes my goodness really i'm not here to play a 15 minute game online like make it 15 and at least make it like real, like real life Pokemon, because you only get 30 minutes of Pokemon in a game. But here we get 50, and I guess I could just get to rant right now. Oh, I want to take forever. Okay, we won. That was easy match. Cool, great. This is great. This is why I love expanded because there's great things happening. Let's play another Sizedo deck and get punched in the face again. I can't use my Fabas. Okay. Matt, what are we playing here? That was so many different types. Matt, what Matt, what are we playing here, bud? What okay, so we lost a coin flip. Okay. 
All right, let's hope we get a good game here because we haven't really seen a good game with this deck, and I really do have confidence in it. Okay, let's start Dadini. That's the one guy we definitely never want to start with, and we started with him. Thanks, Pokemon. Will you be my best friend? Uh, okay, but we get the Fairy Garden. Fairy, and if we find, like, a Trainer's Mill. Okay, it's a Vespa Queen deck. Ah, how do I do a Vespa Queen? I don't know. Can they reach up to 260 damage? That seems pretty impossible, but <clears throat> never say never. Because um, they don't hit 260, then we just, like, a tease Max Potion, and then, like, we just go from there, and we look pretty fly. Uh, also, like, Wondrous Labyrinth could do, like, phenomenal things in this matchup, making it where they need 3 DCEs to to attack. Um, too bad there's not a Steelion. <laughs> do, you, do you like that joke? Do you like that joke? So, Ultra Ball. Okay. Discards an egg and a float stone. Okay. There's a Shebe. So, the Shebe coming out is really good for us. Um, yeah. The Shebe coming out. Gonna set up for three. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Battle Compressor. We're gonna discard some more Pokemon. Okay. I mean, they need, like, what, 21 Pokemon? I don't even know right now. It's a lot. They need, like, 21? 20? 21, 22, 23. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there's an N. That's a terrible card for us. I really liked my hand a lot. Thank you, opponent. That was very, not very nice of you. All right, we're just going to do a hand here. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, and we'll go for the DD change. Sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards so far. Okay, on our turn. Give me a Bromatease top deck. Okay, Trainer's Mill. Hmm. I, uh, it doesn't seem bad going for Sycamore right now and just getting a whole new hand here. I'm going to be really honest with you. That does not seem like a bad idea at all. Just like Via Seeker. Sick more. Have all the options in discard pile. It seems really good. Well, it seemed really good until we didn't find like anything. Uh, so I'm gonna cry a little bit. We'll put down Wondrous Labyrinth. Press done. Okay. All right. Not not the start we wanted to have. We had a much better hand. Uh, maybe. We didn't know we had a Guardian in our hand. So, okay, there's a Vespa Queen. Uh, does he have a way to bump our Stadium? That is the question. If he needs double DC to attack, he is definitely going to be in a bad situation. All right, there's a DC going to the active. Okay. And there's a Stretcher. Does he play Marshadow? That's the question. Marshadow would be really good, right? You can just, like... Marshadow, discard some stuff. So stretch her back in two Vespas and a Flareon. Okay. Shaman for three. Okay. There's an unknown. Farewell letter. Okay. How many Pokemon are here? One, two, three, four, six right now. There's an Ultra Ball. Will this find himself a... A Marshadow? Does he play Reset Hold Marshadow? He has so many EX GXs on field. So Combi coming down, okay. Combi, Eevee, Intelligence Gathering, drawing some stuff. All right, so on our turn, so we need to go via Seeker for Faba, or not? Uh, I'm gonna say no. That seems like a terrible idea. So <clears throat> which of those, those two? Grab herself a Spritzy, okay. Uh, put down Spritzy. Put a fairy to G. Via Seeker. We're going to go Sycamore. Uh, we could go Cynthia. No, I'm going to go Cin Sycamore. I think Sycamore is just the best idea right now. We just need to go insane right now. Oh, look at there. Come on. Let's hit both of these. There's one. Come on, number two. No! We whiffed! No whammy! No! Okay. So, we'll this for another Spritzy. We'll put this here. Retreat. And we'll go for Fairy Song. One and two. One here and one here. Alrighty. Every time they get Kaleidoscope, a Kaleidoscope, I think of Kaleidoscope from 21 Pilots. Anybody else think of that? So, DC to Shaman. That seems like a terrible idea. 
Oh, well, that seems like a good idea now all of a sudden. <laughs> I was like, that's a pretty bad idea. And then he's like, just kidding. That's a really good idea. So colors for six. Um, okay, that's good. So compressor, okay. I mean, I have 300 HP, just to let you know. Uh, he has a bunch of Pokemon, though. I don't, he, I know he doesn't have a knockout. I know that for sure. There's a uh, Vespa King going down, okay. Sky Return for 30. Um, okay, so on our turn. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, 14, 15, 8, 180 right now. Okay. Let's go here. Uh, I just want a Via Seeker for Sycamore. I want to find Aromatis and pull the GX tag off right now. I, I know that's probably not a good idea. Okay, so we got it. We got this here. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> no, we missed it. No. No, Pokemon. Okay. Uh, get another Guardian out. Uh, let's Fairy Transfer. Man, I can't believe we missed it. I mean, I, it's not too crazy that we missed it. Huh. Um... I'm just going to Kaleido Storm and just move all the energies to the bench. Just in case he does somehow take a knockout. <clears throat> so go down to five. <coughs> okay. Uh, maybe it's not good to use the GX attack either because he. Um, well, they can, like. What is it? Use Intelligence Gathering? Which, yeah, I think that's fine. Mm, man, they still need 300 HP. They still need 300 damage. And that seems like next to impossible. But it doesn't seem next to impossible to um, do it this turn. Or next turn. <clears throat> Teammates? Okay. If we get top deck a Via Seeker and go Via Seeker that thing and then knock this out, leave it with no DCEs, that would be really phenomenal. That's all I gotta say. Uh, but as of right now, my plan is to Ultra Ball, find another Romatees, and then Sycamore, hope to find um, a Max Potion, and then Max Potion the active, put their hand down to zero, and then they're in top deck mode. That's my game plan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 170, 180 right now is what they're doing. So, I mean, huh, they need nine more ways. They need nine modifiers. Okay. I feel like that's like every Pokemon in their deck. I could be wrong, though. Compressor for three. Okay. Every time I do now. How many VA Seekers have we played? Three. Hmm. If we top deck Ace Roller, that'd be another good thing as well. We could just Ace Roll the active, put a Fighting Fury to the bench. That'd be pretty cool to do. As of right now, we really need to find that Max Potion. Fairy Guardian wouldn't be bad either. If we could Fairy Guardian just into the new Guardian, Sylveon, that'd be another good thing. Uh, they only discarded two. Okay. All right. Power plant. Okay, that's cool with me. I don't use GX EX abilities. Flareon. Propagation. Okay. I definitely think this is a smarter play because you save, like, the um, choice band and then you save the intelligence gathering. So, Combi. Vengeance. 190 right now. So, on our turn, we top deck a VS Seeker. So. Do we go, it's your boy Guzma, bring up Vespa Queen, and hit him to zero cards? I think the answer is yes. I think we go here, send in this guy. We go Fairy Energy, and then we go Magical Miracle GX. Right? And then we shuffle their hand into the deck. And then we leave him in top deck mode. 
and then we go from there. Yeah, seems like the best option right now. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> cool. Another combi? Okay. Vessel Queen, I mean, sorry. How many um, DCs have they played? One, two. Okay. There's a power plant. Let's Ultra Ball. One and two. And we're going to stick more anyway. Okay. So we have Max, two trainers, and a dousing. If we whiff this, I'll cry. Here. Let's just attach energy to Aromatizzi. Let's Sycamore. Yep. All right, got double. Let's Max Luxor first. I mean, my goodness. We have one, two, three, four. We have five. Uh, so we're definitely going to hit one of them. There we go. Get the Max Potion. Uh, let's Fairy Transfer. Give me a second to move all these energies. I can't believe I used the GX stack and they topped like a second more. What's wrong with my life? Okay. Press done. Max potion the active. Uh, fairy transfer. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, there we go. So, I mean, could my opponent have won the game? Maybe. Um, but if I had an Acerola, I had an Acerola and a Dallas machine left, while wow, they had to constantly keep finding DCEs, they only had two DCEs left. And so, I mean, they're never going to reach 300. I just can't believe we pulled, the, we pulled the GX tack off, and then they hit that. So, that's unfortunate. But... There it goes. I think it's enough showing Guardian Sylveon. I, you can see the deck is still... I think it's really cool. I like it a lot. It seems pretty cool. I mean, nothing can really hit for 300 damage. The I like the idea of the Fairy Charms as well. I mean, they seem pretty broken. Like, right? I mean, as you saw against Picaron, they, they he didn't... I mean, he might have played one Field Blower, but that's pretty much it. Nobody's playing, like, Zerosic. Faba, I guess, is broken right now. I, I don't know. It worked, but didn't work, so I have no idea. But still, I mean, I like it a lot. Congratulations to DeAndre. I like this. I like the deck a lot. Oh, yeah. 10 out of 10. I love it. Uh, it's just annoying to move all the energies online with, with the Romatees and, and Guardi. But still, I think it's a great deck. It should be good and expanded. I can't wait to see the expanded metagame to see what happens. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. See you tomorrow for another expanded deck. Alrighty. Bye.